It's not a club that you want to belong to as Gold Star Mothers. We lost our children, sons, daughters, while they were serving military, active duty service. But it is a, a gift for those of us who are left behind to carry on their legacy, to continue to work for the betterment of our veterans, who I don't believe are given the fair shape that they should be given in today's world in our country. This money that's been raised today will be used to help take supplies to every VA hospital in the state. Um, we also attend stand downs where many of our homeless veterans come to get hygiene products, uh, clothes, shoes, blankets for the winter to keep them warm. This money will all go to that and those kinds of services. It will go to help a veteran who cannot pay a utility bill, a veteran maybe who needs to find a place to live. And after he finds that place to live, or she, to purchase supplies for them. We also provide um, Christmas gifts for some of our foster veterans. They're not exactly in the veterans' homes, but they are homebound, and we provide gifts to them. Um, another thing that we do, you may see us out. We do not wear little green uniforms, but we have um, worked with the Black Diamond Council Girl Scouts. If you're ever at a, a meeting and Girl Scout cookies are being given out, that is through a uh, a coalition of the Girl Scouts and the Gold Star Mothers. We make sure that the veterans get as many as thin mints as we can find, which sometimes are hard to find, but you know, I, no one ever refuses a Girl Scout cookie. And uh, we are proud of that. And we also, if you ever travel our state to uh, grants to the Department of Agriculture and the Gold Star Mothers, we have planted to this date and dedicated 10 living memorial orchards, one which is right across the road here um, that Mr. Brown so graciously leased us as land. And those memorials are to the 65 column, but there are 55 trees represented for the 55 counties in the state. And then there are trees represented for the military service um, organizations, your army, Marines, and so forth. That allows us to do that. Coast Guard and the Space Force. Yeah, and then Navy, and if I forgot someone, I'm sorry. But all that, all that money goes directly to that. The only way that we do anything for the mothers ourselves is if we write a grant, which um, a past president and one of the founders, along with Emma Johnson in 2012, Shirley White, write grants for us to receive money to go and to um, go to conventions and conferences and such. None of the money that is raised in these activities go to that. It all goes to veterans, all. So we thank you sincerely. We thank you for remembering them. And we thank you for saying their name. Thank you so much. Okay, this is, uh, this is actually my favorite part of the ceremony, and Terry's going to kick us off. This is where we ask all the Gold Star Mothers to come forward and uh, tell us their name and the name of their loved one that gave so valiantly, valiantly to this country and, and, uh, and made the ultimate sacrifice their lives. And so at this time, if we could give, uh, Terry, you kick us off, and if all the Gold Star Mothers would please come forward and tell us their name and the name of their loved one. Go ahead, we'll try to catch them as they come down. Okay. My name is Terry Cunningham, and I'm the proud mother of Staff Sergeant Robert Timothy Cunningham of the West Virginia Army National Guard, who died on 12 July 2018 of PTSD suicide. Hey, ladies, we have to just come here and just stand in behind Terry after you. Hi, I'm Rose Schilling, the proud mother of AM3 East Schilling, 
who passed in 2001. He was uh, in the Hell's College Squadron. I'm Emma Johnson. I'm the grandmother of Lance Corporal Adam Johnson Crumper. Um, Adam came to live with me when he was uh, two years old. He's a son of a diabetic mother. She passed away when she was 37. And I have to honor him every day. And he was a United States Marine Infantry. He was killed. June 18, 2005. I'm Rebecca Riffle. My son was PFC Zachary Riffle. He died January 19, 2022. Um, Marine, he died in a training at, in at Camp Lejeune. My name is Sue Miller, and I'm the mother of Jack Miller. He's a lieutenant colonel chaplain in the Air Force. He died in 2019. I'm Vicki Ashley Maddox, the proud mother of machinist mate, second class, Joseph Allen Ashley. He died in 2005 in the United States Navy. He was on a submarine, the San Francisco, that ran aground, stationed out at Guam, and he loved what he was doing. I'm Tammy Graham. Uh, my son is Prince Corporal David Allen Crumb II. He died March 18, 2020. He was in the United States Marine Corps, and he died of PTSD suicide. You can say he never came back from Iraq. My name is Kathy Dollar. My son is Specialist David Hess, who was killed in Afghanistan October 10th of 2010. Two days ago marked the 14th year. He served with the 101st Airborne. Real quick. <laughs> there you go. Sorry about that. My name is Susan Collinan. My son is Captain Joseph Collinan. He was a Black Hawk helicopter pilot. Flew in Iraq. Approximately two and a half years after he came back, came down with a very rare form of sarcoma, which took him within about nine months. And as you know, he had the burn pits, the jet full, and everything. So we pretty much figured that's where he. That's what caused his death. But we're proud because he always says, fly high. <coughs> I'm Shirley White. I've lost two sons in military service. Corporal Andrew White, United States Marine Corps, 2008. Staff Sergeant Robert White, 82nd Airborne, Red Falcons, and killed in Afghanistan. Brown. My son was Staff Sergeant Jeremy Brown, who died in Iraq on July the 3rd, 2005. <clears throat> my name is Amy. This is my husband, Brady. Um, our son was Specialist William Rhodes. He died December 1st, 2007. Red Hunter, so was Sergeant Matthew Hunter, Hunter First Airborne, Screaming Eagles. He was a senior combat field medic. 
101st Airborne. He was killed January 23rd of 2006 at 9.40 a.m. Baghdad time. Let's give all these fine folks a big round of applause. <laughs> Terry, thanks to you, thank you to you and the Gold Star Mothers for all the work you do in our great state. Um, helping us remember what this great country stands on and how we have the freedom we do today and then express all the things that you do to highlight and support veterans. Thanks to you and the West Virginia Gold Star Mothers. Thank you. Hey, Mayor, we have a fellow here that's got a, a cup for, he's got he has 13 cups for giving to Gold Star family. So Outstanding. I don't know how many we have. Thank you, sir. While we're passing those cups up, and then Old Star Mothers, if you want, you can you can uh, go ahead and go back and sit down. Um, I'd like to introduce your entertainment for this year, provided by Steve Brown. How about another big hand for Steve Brown? Whiskey and wine, Jessica Hypes and Joshua Weinbrenner. And now they're going to sing a song, and if you know the song, we ask you to join in with them, Lean On Me.